Whenever I run in my class, I run the method public static void main string square bracket args. I'll draw a stack frame to keep track of my local variables. And I'll write the name of the method on the side. Okay, inside my method, the first line says int x equals 44. I'm going to read that equals since it's an assignment statement as gets. So int x gets the value 44. So that's going to create a variable named x and it gets the value 44. Okay, that next line says method a and in parentheses it has x. So that's going to be calling the method a and it's going to pass it an argument and it's going to pass the value 44. So when I make a method call, I draw another stack frame. I'll draw that right on top of my main method. And I wrote the name of the method there on the side again. So I can see inside of method A that it has a local variable named x. And it got that local variable name because of the parameter named x. Okay, so method A has a local variable named x. Okay, and what's the value of that variable? Well, when I called method A, I passed a copy of whatever was in the x inside my main method. So inside method a, it's going to get set to the value 44 because it got a copy of what was in the x variable inside my main method. And here we can have two different independent variables named x because they're each in a different method. So they're in the local variables that I have in main, I have x. And in the local variables that I have inside of method A, I have a variable named x. And we say that these two variables have different scopes. I also want to draw your attention to the fact that passing this argument x to the method A was another way of assigning a variable because the parameter x got set to the value that we passed in. Okay, I haven't executed the body of method A yet. So in there it says x gets 15. So what that means is I'm inside of method A and I change the value of x from 44 to 15. And it's important to remember that inside method A, when I changed that x, it didn't change my other x. They didn't become linked or anything. Um, and even inside of method A, I can only access the local variables that I've listed here. I can only access x. And so I can't access the old value of x, which is in main. But when I return from the method A, I'm going to go back into the main method and x will stay as 44. It won't have changed. So the big picture is that calling a method with an argument, like we did with x here, calling a method with an argument is another way to assign a value to a variable. 